kind of sad that this whole plant doesn't make it into the frame. Okay, no. Oh, hi everybody. Welcome to this beautiful Friday. I realize I haven't done a studio vlog in a long time. So I'm just gonna kind of vlog the weekend and uh, hopefully the fact that I'm doing a vlog will motivate me to like do as many artistic things as possible. And I kind of already am. I'm working on this really cool piece right now, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm gonna make this thing. And it's an embroidery piece. I have not embroidered in so long, but like it's such a mesmerizing task Like I'm so lost in the flow every time I start it I sit down I start sewing and then I don't get up for another four hours I really just get so immersed um, And I just randomly had an idea for a painting that I wanted to just do on the side And I also have to paint for school and I also have to draw and uh, But who can complain? It's what I love to do So I'm really stoked that you guys could come along with me today and I'm really excited to make some art. If you're new to my channel, just take a second, check out some of my other videos, subscribe perhaps, leave a like on this video. I hate sounding like a typical YouTuber. I'm not good at this. Let's just get creating. Okay, wow. Uh, I definitely need to go outside. I have not seen a blue sky in ages. I think I'm gonna go to the gym first and then we'll go on a little walk after. This has been my permanent hermit spot for the past three days. I got all my embroidery thread. Um, I've had these for years and I never embroidered that much, but I like saved them because I figured I would need them one day and I've always wanted to do something really like intricate and cool with like sewing and embroidery. So I'm doing this picture. I'm so stoked. Mm, I mean, oh no, I'm not watching conspiracy videos. What? That picture um, and I'm gonna sew it. I'm gonna sew myself a self portrait on a desktop, on photo booth. So the whole project concept is tensions in uh, drawing materials. Um, and basically you have to use a certain medium or a certain item that conflicts with the subject matter you're depicting. I'm pretty sure that's how it's meant to be interpreted. This drawing class I'm taking is so fucking conceptual, I can't. I've powered these all out in like one or two days and hopefully I'll finish them by tonight because this is a whole other situation. I have to like sew my whole face, I don't know. <gasps> Wait, first thing though, these pants are everything. I don't know if you guys have ever owned something with this texture in like the early 2000s. It's almost like a towel texture, almost velvety. It feels like something you would wear at the pool or during the summer. And they're like flared and every time I walk, I feel like a freaking angel. Got them from the thrift store. They're everything. All my thrifted pieces are the best. I really want to do a thrifting haul one day or like... Why are all the lights off? I just want to know I'm asking for a friend. I feel like a superstar in the robe right now. <gasps> it's again a thrifted piece. It's Victoria's Secret, probably like early 2000s or something. Oh, I love it so much. My friend Miriam's coming over and I'm just gonna work on some sewing. She's gonna do her homework and we're gonna have a good ass time. I don't think I have enough wine left. I'll get some more. Mm. Okay, so my room's all clean. Just needed to tidy up things off the floor and the mess that kind of occurred as I was working on this piece. But yeah, I'm stoked that I finally have a clean space for the weekend because like my mindset feels more clear and I definitely am more productive if I can like see the floor. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, this blanket's so soft. Hello y'all, good morning. Good afternoon actually because it is 3 p.m. I may or may not have slept in a little bit late today. I had a friend over last night and she stayed pretty late, so I just slept hella this morning. But whatever, it's Saturday. So uh, my plans for today, I guess, is to go to the studios and paint a bit. I love painting in the day. I don't know, I really have a thing for natural daylight and the way it tends to like illuminate and make my colors a lot more vibrant. So yeah, I like my nails. <laughs> Okay, let's head to the studios.
I just got back from painting and my hair is soaked because it's snowing so much outside, but it's really pretty and I'll show you guys. As cold as it is outside, that's pretty freaking gorgeous. It's like snow on all the branches. everyone it's the next day um, I'm sorry I didn't vlog much last night but I did a bit more embroidery and I'm almost done this bad boy except for the really detailed really intricate self-portrait in the middle but I got my gym slash painting clothes on because I gotta go get my workout on at some point today and then maybe I'll eat this orange in the shower after did you guys see that BuzzFeed video or like hear about this before that like eating an orange in the shower can make you feel happier. Um, I tried it last time actually, and it kind of works. As some of you know, I have an oil diffuser, and it's so funny, the one with the most citrus in it is like the happy scent, and it makes me feel so happy. It's called Liquid Sunshine. Not Spawns, but I wish. Um, and it smells like all sorts of like citruses. So like when you peel this, the smell of the citrus in the shower makes you feel happy, and it's like cool, like you just get to get messy with it and have juice dripping down your face, but it doesn't matter because you're in the shower. As I sip on my morning coffee, I'm trying to stretch this little canvas here because I wanted to make a painting later today. But I also bought this canvas paper, so I'm kind of thinking I should use that. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna go through the stress of stretching this right now. Um, also, let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how to stretch canvases. I stretched all of these ones here. Me and my mom built all these frames together. So she built, she helped me build all the frames with like her nail gun and her power saw, which I'm not allowed to use yet. Um, but I stretched and gessoed all the canvases, which is like something that you have to do with a staple gun. This is my hefty ass staple gun. And uh, you basically stretch the canvas over the edges and then staple the back of it and then gesso it, prime it, whatnot. I'm just doing this little painting for fun anyways. It's nothing serious, so yeah. I'll try and vlog a little bit more of the gym, but who knows. Also, sorry, one more thing. Let's just take a moment for another incredible thrifted piece. I love, love, love this peach color. It's just a really nice light spring jacket. Another day, another bathrobe, honey. This is probably my favorite bathrobe. Another thrifted find, absolutely incredible. So I just got back from the gym and one of my favorite things to do after I've sweat a lot and like gotten all the toxins out of my pores is to put on a deep cleansing face mask which gets down to the pores and then when you wash it off, it feels like you're a brand new bitch and your skin can breathe and it welcomes all this new hydration. I don't know, I just really like to do it and it feels really good. So try it next time you work out. Wash the sweat off your face first, then put on the face mask. This one's like a charcoal one. It makes me look like an alien. And it's starting to dry, so I think we're gonna go wash it off now. Okay. 